What's up guys? My name is Tyler Carlson. Welcome to season two of Snakes and Trails. Today I'm in the Transpecos region of Texas again looking for the Great Banded King Snake, a species that has eluded me for years. So here's to hoping that I'll finally see one. All right, guys, so last year out here in Texas, I was out on top of one of these road cuts. Not one this tall, but still, I was standing on top of it and looking down and I was like, I can jump off of this. I thought it was like four feet. Uh, it was night, my depth perception was way off. So anyway, I jumped and I ended up kicking myself in the gut with my own foot. My leg came up, just and kicked me. And I tore my ACL, so that was no fun. You gotta be really careful on these road cuts if you're ever out herping them, so. I'm gonna jump quick to this little clip of me after my surgery. So I just got done with my surgery. I was pretty tired and loopy afterward. They gave me quite the set of anesthesia drugs, but um, apparently there were no hangups or hitches and um, everything went well from both the anesthesiologists and the doctor's perspective. So it's a cool thing. I'll show you this leg though. So today's my first day back at school with my fancy leg cast here. Um, hopefully it goes well. I'll probably be tuckered out at the end of the day. Yep, so long story short, don't go jumping off the top of road cuts and tear your ACL, because it's not fun. The surgery sucked. It was a long recovery. Mm, definitely worth getting fixed, not worth getting hurt. Anyway, that's that. There's another side of you trying to break through. Able to tell the truth. All right, guys, so I just want to remind you again what I've been doing out here in West Texas to look for snakes. So what I'm doing is I'm walking along all of these road cuts, looking for whatever I can see out on them, scorpions, spiders, centipedes, but most importantly, snakes, including the gray banded king snake. Every line designed to lay. All right, guys, so one of the snakes I'm finding out here in the Trans-Pecos region of Texas are these night snakes. They're kind of cool. This is actually a normal sized one and a normal pattern one. It's dark. With, some, uh, with two lines of dots running down its back and a collar around its neck. They have white bellies, but this monster, ooh, this is a huge one. I found this um, on Pepper's Hill, and for some reason, everything on Pepper's Hill is just a little bit lighter in color. This one's almost patternless. I'll show you what I mean, but how cool is that? There's such variety, even on one road, of um, even common snakes, like night snakes. Together, you're afraid to hold my... All right, guys, so another one of the snakes that I commonly find in the Trans-Pecos region of Texas is aptly named, it's the Trans-Pecos rat snake, uh, Bogertophis subocularis, and they're named that because of a scale that exists underneath their eye, subocularis. Um, anyway, they're just totally gorgeous snakes. They have these two stripes running down their back with a bunch of little tiny H's and they just have the prettiest blue eyes. So I'll show you what that looks like. All right guys, so another really cool example of some of the weird differences in snakes you find on Pepper's Hill is in their long-nosed snakes. So this is, these are both long-nosed snakes. This bigger one is a more traditional red, black, and white long nose. But this little guy is so unbelievably pale. It almost has a white stripe running down its back. It looks completely different than the long noses you would normally find. Totally cool. All right guys, so a couple more of the common snakes that you find in the Transpecos region of Texas 
are these ground snakes. But what's cool about ground snakes is no two ever really look alike. This one I found not too far from this guy and he's completely banded. And this one is just plain in color. So really interesting that you can find such variety in these snakes. Alright guys, so tonight I'm out here herping in West Texas and uh, I was shining some road cuts and when I was walking between a set of road cuts, I shined on the road and I found this guy, it was dead. Someone ran over my gray banded king snake I'm looking for. Um, it's a really, really heartbreaking fact of life when you look for snakes that people run over snakes on the road all the time. And um, in some states, like Texas, it's more legal to run over a snake on the road than it is to stop and help it off the road. Without a hunting license, that is. But it's really unfortunate that this is how I had to find my gray banded king snake. It's actually the second one I've ever found dead on the road. Um, so anyway, I'm going to take some photos and video of this guy. And then I'll see if I can't submit it to a museum to be preserved. Um, Sewell Ross uh, State University has a museum that I've sent specimens to before. So maybe they can take this specimen and we'll see. It's kind of a bummer though. All right guys, so this is it. I finally found my gray banded king snake, Lampropeltis alterna. Can you believe that thing? It's gorgeous. I can't believe it right now either. I'm still in shock. I never thought I'd find one of these this trip. I just have been fighting weather, have been fighting the odds left and right. I'm just so lucky to be able to see one. I'm gonna photograph this guy, shoot some video, and let him go. But wow, what an emotional roller coaster looking for this snake. All right guys, so tonight I came out to a new locality in West Texas looking for gray banded king snakes. And guess what? I found one. This is the third gray banded king snake I've seen in three nights. Fourth, if you count dead ones. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry I didn't film this snake from last night. I was out with a couple of buddies and they spotted it on the road cut and I helped them get it down. But um, I'll show you a picture of that guy right here. But now look at this guy. This is a beautiful, dark, gray banded king snake from a locality that's further west in Texas than where I was previously looking. I'm ecstatic. I never imagined in my whole life that I'd seen not just one, but three live gray banded king snakes in one trip, as well as a dead one. Oh my gosh. This has just been an amazing, amazing week, guys. I can't begin to explain it. Oh, I'm gonna photograph this guy, shoot some video, and let him go. I'm ecstatic. <laughs>